The video extensimeter is used with the Instron load frame to measure the strain during a tensile test. This method eliminates all contact with the sample by precisely measuring the strain with high resolution video. The advantages of this method include no influence on the specimen and increased accuracy by eliminating errors caused by moving parts. To learn how to use the Instron and Blue Hill software, refer to the video on the Instron loading frame. Be sure to wear the proper personal protective equipment. Turn on the video extensimeter and the Instron machine switches, then open up the Blue Hill software. The software will automatically synchronize with the video extensimeter. If any communication errors appear, restart the software and check the connection of the video extensimeter. If needed, adjust the height position of the video extensimeter by turning the black handle and loosening the screw. After changing the position, tighten the screw and turn the black handle to the upright position. For the strain to be correctly monitored, a calibration must be performed every so often. To do this, attach the calibration piece found in a black box to the upper holder. Lower the top clamp until the piece is about level with the video extensimeter. Next, open the Blue Hill software and click on the video button in the top right corner. Then click on the Setup Wizards and Calibration. Follow the prompts on the screen. First, confirm the correct field of view. Adjust the camera to focus on the calibration specimen. Loosen the handle and screw to move the video extensimeter up and down. Open the calibration bar's protective window to show the spot grid. Move the blue box to fit around the calibration bar grid. Make sure that all calibration dots are located with red boxes and click on Calibrate. Take your sample and put two white dots on the gauge length using a white marker or paint. The distance between these dots will be automatically measured and monitored by the video extensimeter. Make sure the dots are very precise and relatively small so the software can easily recognize and monitor them during the experiment. Load the sample into the holders, tightening the top clamp first and then the bottom. Eliminate any slack in the sample by using the black roller on the controller. In the Method tab under the Control menu, click on Strain and specify that the axial strain is measured by video. Click the Video button in the top right corner. Click Enable under the Axial channel, telling the software to measure the strain in the vertical direction. Make sure the sample is displayed in the black window. Move the video extensimeter and use the focus inside the box to adjust and focus the sample view. Line up the white dots on the middle dotted line. Two red boxes should appear, one over each of the dots. If multiple red boxes appear, try to refocus the video or redo the dots. Once the red boxes appear, press the Measure Strain button. The distance between the dots or the gauge length will be displayed on the screen. This will lock the dots into the software so the gauge length will be monitored throughout the experiment. The field of view is the length of the window and the maximum distance that the gauge length can be. The transverse channel monitors the horizontal distance and is usually not used. A red light will be emitted from the video extensimeter to monitor the run. Once the setup is finalized for one sample, it can be used for multiple samples. Go back to the method tab to specify the other parameters of your test, and then go to the test tab. Click the start button to begin your test. The sample and dots will begin to stretch apart and the video extensimeter is keeping track of the strain on the sample. The test is completed when the sample breaks. The video extensimeter can also be attached to the temperature environment. This allows the video extensimeter to monitor tests when in a temperature regulated environment. Remove the sample and all parts of the Instron machine when your test is complete. 